Hey YouTube, what's up? So, I just finished playing Cube. It was on sale for... I guess they did it for kind of a Black Friday autumn sale. Sale's still on right now. Um, but I picked up Cube. And I just finished it, so I wanted to start a new game and... kind of give a bit of a review of what I thought. Now, keep in mind, I haven't, um eaten any of the extra stuff. There's a lot of, like, challenge modes you can run through. This is just basic story. And what if it didn't kill him? With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of... I'll let her talk. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. And she's gonna his talk for a minute, so I'll probably skip to up. where um, I can move a little bit more. I think he's alive. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember he's how long conscious. this intro is. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot longer intro than I remember, because it's been a bit. Um, so yeah, this is cute. Very puzzle-esque solving game. Of course, you can compare most of these games to Portal, um, even though obviously the mechanics are very different. So, the gist of it, without you know spoiling everything, just the stuff she said, um, if you play it yourself, you're a, I guess, kind of an astronaut that was sent into deep space to meet up with this giant object that's hurling towards Earth and is going to destroy it, and you were sent inside to dismantle it. A little confused with that, but I won't spoil anything. So, your main modes of solving all these puzzles are, is this suit. And you'll notice that when you hover over objects you can interact with, they turn the color that you can interact with them. Now it's left and right click, change how, like, what you do. So, left click pushes things down. Uh, wait, yeah, right click pushes things down, <laughs> left click pushes things up. So these red blocks are very simple. Um, and then you pull it down. So the game gets really, uh, I guess, complex later on. I guess complex really isn't, it just takes the mechanics of lots of simple things it teaches you, and uh, makes you really have to think in some cases on how to get around them. Like these, pretty basic. You, you can you can first pull these out, but they're meant to be a springboard. Whee! Oh, yep. Totally forgot that I was supposed to do that here. But yep, see, so double, boom, boom. So... I like the puzzles. The puzzles in here are very interesting. Some of them were quite complicated. Uh, it just, it took a while to, like, think around them. Um... But I will say, now I, I purchased the director's cut, which with a little bit of research, I found out that the first version didn't really have a story behind it, um, which is interesting. So if this story was added, this, this you know, the second iteration, um, then okay, fine. But it, it is a little confusing. And, you know, this game's been out for a while, so I don't mind talking about it a little bit, that the story was a bit confusing. Uh, at the end of the game, when you escape and you know, what, how, whatever happens, happens, it, it doesn't seem to add up. Well, it doesn't take away from the fact that the game is a really good puzzle game. <clears throat> um, in my opinion. That it makes you think, uh, how, what's the best way to use objects that you're given. Um, yeah, there's nothing really, really, like, super complicated that it gives you. You eventually have the ability to rotate sections of the room. You're eventually given a, an object. So we need to, if I remember this right, we have to, uh, open this first. And then open the middle one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, and so it even gives you spheres, it gives you like multi-staged ones as well that play off of other parts that you've solved in the same room. Um, it even gives you some of the more difficult ones, a, uh, oh, I remember this, okay, I don't remember if this actually killed me or not. 
Um, I don't remember. I think I'm just supposed to stop it. I never actually tried. I guess I could have right there, but then I didn't. Mm, okay. Either way. Um, let's see. Then we'll... There we go. Okay. So, this this is the game. It doesn't really change that much. It does follow a very uh, portal style. She's gonna start talking to me again. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, so you can see that what, the ones you're working on are the gray tiles, and when you finish something, it turns white. Um, it does follow, yeah, like I said, it very much follows a portal style that things are nice, things run fine, and eventually you run to more run down, kind of entailing that you're dismantling this thing. <laughs> I'm not really sure how something puzzles does that, but hey, you know, whatever. Um... But yeah, I won't go too much farther. Here's our green little block friend here. And if you push this, it resets. So that 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 this item is used very much in a, in a lot of different phases later on. They do get very creative. They don't just keep you with these blocks. There are some, uh, you interact with the blocks with other objects like electrical wires and other components, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, I totally missed on hitting that one. That's okay. Come on, there we go. Alright. So, yeah. And the astronaut lady will come talk to you periodically. There's another uh, character that you'll start talking to, talking with as well. Um, and it's just, I don't know, the, the, the story is interesting. While being a little strange. But it, it was nice to have one. If it didn't have one initially, I, I can see why like there would have been confusion. Um, but I haven't played the original Cube. I've only played the Director's Cut, which I guess added a story to it. So in that case, I'd say that was a, a, a good call. So, yeah. This is the gist of the game. There's... there's you solve puzzles. <laughs> uh, let's see. I gotta remember how I did this. Yeah, okay. Let's see, bring him back, and then we scoot him over. And I think we need to... Yeah, if I remember this right. Yeah, okay. And then I go up here. Push, whoop, push everything down. It's weird, you can like... Woo! <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll stop there. I won't go too much farther in case you want to find out more about the story, because she's going to come back and talk to us pretty soon if I walk any farther. So yeah, I would, I, it's a fun game. If you can get it on sale, um, get it cheap. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't very much, because it's been out for a while. I know they're working on Cube 2. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rate it. It's, it's a great game. It it's much follows around the aspects of Portal. So, which, I mean, I just see nothing wrong with. So, <laughs> it's a it's a great puzzle solver. So uh, yeah, I would I would recommend it if you want something that'll take you a couple hours. It won't, doesn't take you very long. I completed it in two, in between two and three hours. So yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's my review of it. I hope you guys enjoy playing the game. I'll put a link to the game on Steam in the description. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.